Well, let's do a heat test and see uh, how energy efficient this product is. Okay, very good. I've got the... This is a EDTM solar transmission BTU meter. EDTM makes blast test equipment for the National Penetration Rating Test Council. So it's the finest test equipment you can get. Okay. We have the BTU transmission meter, we have a heat lamp, and we've set it where it reads 100, meaning 100%. Does that represent 100% of the heat going through that glass? Then, huh? So 100% of the heat coming from the heat lamp to the meter. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a piece of single pane glass between the heat and the mirror to see how much heat it blocks. What you can see is it's stopping only 21%. So 79% of the heat is still coming through in either direction. It's coming in in the summer, it's going out in the winter because heat goes to cold. Okay. Now we're going to try a double pane. It's two panes of glass. Let's see how a double pane performs in the same test. So that's a clear double pane. Let's see how it performs. So it's allowing through 63% of that solar and radiant heat, huh? Coming right through in either direction. Now we've got the low E. This is a, that's double a low pane. E? Yes. Okay. Let's see how that does. Wow, still allowing 57% of that heat through. Okay. Wow, Actually, that is. Uh, a little bit more. Let's recalibrate so we get this exactly right. All right. 56%. 56, 57% of the heat still going through that double pane glass with that low E coating. Now let's, That's pretty bad. Let's say we wanted the most energy efficient window ever built. We're going to take the double pane, the low E, and the single pane, and we're going to... That's five panes of glass. Five panes that of glass. That should really stop the heat. Let's see what. Wow, it's still allowing 30% of that heat to go through there. Five panes of glass. That's amazing. And a low E coating and two air cells. Now what we're going to do is we're going to recalibrate here. Now we're going to take the inflector window insulator. It does not work alone, but let's see what it does alone. Okay, this is inflector window insulator by itself. Wow, 24% of the heat uh, uh, goes through, so it's blocking 76%. That's more energy efficient than five panes of glass. More than all of that, and actually the phenomenal thing is you can get this for less than the price of just this. The low really? Heat. Yes, absolutely. So now we know that the inflector does work in conjunction with glass. So let's say you had double pane glass and you put the inflector on it. Okay. And let's see now what we get. This is, this is the. So there's your double pane glass, which is still letting 63% of the Okay, heat and, and put inflector in between there? Wow, it gets down to 16%. That's amazing. 64 to 16. From 64 to 16, that is, that's quite an energy efficient product. Now you can see why we say that the inflector is four times more energy efficient than a low E replacement window because it stops three quarters more heat. And it's, I mean, I mean, there ain't no such thing as a five pane window I know of, but that'd be an expensive window. And for a fraction of the cost, you can introduce yourself to the inflector window insert. Instead of replacing your windows, we, what we what you need to do is to put an inflector window insulator in there. Now let's see what we got with the low E. Let's say you got a low E. People think low E is great, but it's not that much better than it's Okay, a low E, and that is 56%. Okay, with inflector, it gets it down to 14. That's amazing. 14 from 57. It's 14. It's only allowing 14% of that heat, whereas a double E. Uh, low E double pane glass allows 57. That's amazing. So, uh, uh, what's about the payback period on this? Payback period will be under five years. Under and five it all years? depends upon your situation. You know, an average window to pay back is going to be about 18 years, but the, the lifespan of a window is not 18 years. So, this is going to pay for itself and last beyond that every year after five years. And sometimes it's much less than that according to what the problems you have. Okay. So immediately you can get start getting payback, and after it's paid back, then you're making money every month. And that's only if utility rates don't go up. If they go up, your payback is quicker. And, and from what I understand, the average price of windows is between $500 to $2,000, and that's not with tax and permits to get them installed. Yes, and then you got the mess. And then so, you got the ecological impact of the land. Didn't, didn't Air Force just do a recent instance, installation of this product? Yeah, we're real proud. Lackland Air Force Base, after trying an installation at the gate, the Lackland Gateway Officers Club, did an installation at Security Hill. 
did over a thousand windows at Security Hill. To and, and what's the projected savings on that building? They're projecting to sell for a hundred thousand dollars a year. That is amazing. That is amazing. So you know what? If it's good enough for the U.S. Air Force, it's certainly good enough for any kind of home. In and fact, it, it might be overkill. But I tell you, I think uh, if it, if it has that kind of payback. Then now let's just say you, you had it invested two thousand dollars in a bank and you get sixty dollars back on a month. You you can't get that kind of investment back from any kind of bank on a payout. Absolutely, in this day where you can't make your money back, this is one of the best investments you can make because you can get 20, 25, 30, 40 percent returns on your investment with this product. Well, thank you for showing us in fact when it went in. So, is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, be efficient because the world depends upon it, and one of the best ways is efficient. To be efficient is to attack the biggest source of heat loss, which in any home or building is the windows. And the solar loading capacity. Absolutely. This is the wonderful thing about it, Flecker. Now you reverse it, you put the solar loading. What this can do is, now this dark side is absorbing heat, bringing it inside. So what you can get is free heat. So free heat, rather than your windows be losing heat during the winter, you can gain heat. This can get over 100 degrees, and so it's bringing in the equivalent of a 600 watt electric heater every hour is bringing in as much heat as 600 watt. And that's per been window. That's been verified by Texas A&M University, right? Texas A&M and Yellen Solar Laboratories are both verified. Well, thank you so much for that great introduction. Anything else you'd like to add before we no, go? No, just again, be energy efficient because it's very important for the longevity and uh, utility prices are only going to get higher. There's things going on right now in the world. We're seeing the gas prices rise. Guess what comes after the gas price rise? Utility cost increases. So uh, do it now. Start saving now. Start getting the payback. And then gradually be very efficient in everything you can do for your home or building. And can you top in it? Can you can you find this product on YouTube just to see what it does? Absolutely. There's several YouTube videos on this product. And it'll really give you the whole story about the inflector and window insulators. And here, here's the... Uh, what it's called, excuse me, it's called Inflector Window Insulator, the see-through radiant barrier window insulator. And again, this is the view you're going to be getting just like that. And that's, look, from the inside, we've had this on GM uh, plants for over 20 years. And it also comes in the verticals and it comes in the roller shades. I'm just going to show you a quick roller shade here too. This is a roller shade right here. And all you got to do is just come up here like this and just pull it up or pull it down. And it just pops up like that. But that is the view you're going to be getting through Inflector Window Insulator, the most energy efficient product for windows we know out there.